Hello, my name is JD, and today I will share with you my first ever trip to Japan, which took place between November to December 2022. We booked our tour package through an agency. You're probably wondering why we chose to go through an agency. Well, at the time, we just wanted to make sure that our visa would be approved, and the agency guaranteed it to us. However, by the time this video log is released, the assurance might not be guaranteed anymore. Anyways, I'll just put the links down below about the agency that we booked for this tour. So we started the trip at Ninoy Aquino International. National Airport Terminal 3 and our plane was on airlines. It was my first time flying on a plane that is not a Philippine aircraft, so I was very excited about it. Originally, we were supposed to take Cebu Pacific, but the agency told us that it was a gift for us as we were part of the first batch to do this tour. They showed us the pre-flight safety presentation on the monitor. During the flight, you can watch movies, TV series, news, or listen to music. I am also a big fan of Pokemon, so I brought my Switch and played Scarlet and Violet during the flight. After a few minutes into the flight, the flight attendant handed us some food options. I selected option 8, which is a grilled pork and beef hamburger steak with teriyaki sauce. It was unexpectedly good. The drinks are free and you can refill them multiple times, as long as the flight attendant is in the area during food distribution time. After that, refills are not allowed anymore. Matmat got option B, which is roasted chicken with calamansi sauce. We gave the food a 4 out of 5 rating. We also had ice cream for dessert. There's also a live feed showing the plane's location in the sky. This is the restroom of the aircraft. After a 4-hour flight, we touched down in Japan at Narita Airport. Narita Airport is responsible for managing most of the international flights to Tokyo, and it serves as a central point for various major airlines, such as Japan Airlines and All Nippon Airways. This is our first time in Japan, and we're both excited. We were welcomed by the Super Mario family. This is the main lobby of Narita Airport for arrivals. Off to our bus, I immediately feel the temperature dropping. The bus ride from Narita Airport to Tokyo Center takes about 50 minutes to an hour. Heading off to our dinner. The Ariake District in Tokyo is home to Ariake Garden, a sizable shopping and entertainment destination that lures in visitors with a variety of attractions such as diverse shopping options, dining establishments, and numerous forms of entertainment. This building is so quiet, not a lot of people are around. The food in here is available for unlimited refills. I'm sorry if I don't have much footage of this place. I savored the food in the moment.
Upon entering, there are hangers available for clothes. An extra table is provided to put your belongings. A mini cabinet to store your things. And a mini refrigerator are also provided. There is a full length mirror for your convenience. Let me show you the comfort room. The basin is very convenient and there are buttons on the side. The bathroom is quite straightforward. And we have free amenities such as shampoo, conditioner, and body soap available. Best of all, it's always kept clean on a daily basis. I apologize once again for the messy bedroom. We were too tired to do a room tour last night, so we went straight to sleep. Anyways, they provided us with a spacious twin bed. The bedside desk is simply amazing. It controls the night lamp, air conditioning, alarm clock, clock, and room light. Onto this section, you'll find the workstation table, a mirror, a table lamp, and a few plugs for you to charge. They even have green and black tea available, and there's a heater if you want to make some tea. Finally, the windows offer an amazing panoramic view of the neighboring buildings and the river near the hotel. Outside of our hotel lies Osaki New City, which is conveniently connected to Osaki train station and other businesses, restaurants, supermarkets, and convenience stores. And may mga restaurants din dito guys. Check in lang sa second floor. From this vantage point, you can also enjoy a view of the Meguro River. and the footbridge that connects to other establishments. From our hotel window during the night, you can take in the serene night view of the Maguro River. The Maguro River is now a well-known tourist destination for both locals and travelers, particularly during the cherry blossom season when the trees are in full bloom. While down on the street, you can soak up the bustling atmosphere. The nighttime view of the Osaki New City. Osaki New City, which is located near Shinugawa Station, is perfectly situated to easily access different parts of Tokyo and because of its close proximity to major transportation hubs. Life Supermarket, located nearby, is a real lifesaver for us as they offer very affordable food at night with discounts of up to 30% from 8 p.m. onwards. You can also buy souvenirs here at reasonable prices. So, hindi ko yun, naglalagay ng price. Ayan. Alin ba dito guys, masarap? Hindi ko kasi alam eh. Ito, nagigita ko to eh. Yung potato. Comment down below kung ano yung masarap dito. Garbage bins in Japan are highly organized and it can be challenging to find one. Fortunately, there is one nearby, making it convenient to dispose of your trash responsibly. The sunrise view from our hotel window is absolutely breathtaking. The new Atani in Tokyo provides a morning buffet breakfast for guests, featuring a diverse range of dishes. Guests can choose from a selection of Japanese and international cuisine to start their day. Additionally, guests are provided with a card that can be flipped to indicate whether they are still eating or have finished their meal. The red side of the card is used to signal that the guest is still eating, while the green side indicates that the guest has finished their meal. Off to our first destination. Here are some point of view of the streets in Tokyo. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you're finding this video helpful or entertaining. Your support helps me grow my channel and reach new viewers. So right now, dito kami sa Tsukiji Nippon Fish Market. The Tsukiji Nippon Fish Port Market in Tokyo, Japan is a renowned fish market recognized for its fresh seafood, especially its tuna auctions. It is one of the world's largest fish markets, although initially in the Tsukiji area of Tokyo. Oh, hello. Tasting. Oh. 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 Yes, yes. Oh. sugar? No sugar. No sugar. Mm. Sweet <laughs> and snack. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Everything. Oh, everything. Everything. Oh. Mm. The market was relocated to Toyasu in 2018, which is often still called the Tsukiji Market. The market offers visitors an extensive range of seafood such as fish, shellfish, and sea urchins. Several restaurants inside the market offer sushi and other seafood dishes made with fresh ingredients, grilled meat dishes, and ramen shops with various broths and toppings. Wow, grabe guys dito. Ang linis. Hi, uh, oh, okay. oh, 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 oh. So, ano yan? Subong mga market pa rin to. Seaweed. Oh, seaweed may arada. May free taste gani. Okay. Easy. Furthermore, cafes and dessert shops sell sweet treats like crepes, cakes, and ice cream. Visitors can also purchase fresh fruits and vegetables. We're here right now sa Imperial Palace. Papunta kami doon. Lalakad lang kami. Magagalan talaga mga Japanese, guys. Ooh, ganda, ganda na weather dito. I love it. Seiman Ishibashi Bridge, also referred to as Seiman Tsuribashi, is a suspension bridge situated in the Kaiso Valley of Nagano Prefecture, Japan. It is a pedestrian-only bridge over the Kaiso River and provides stunning views of the neighboring mountains and river. Tsunoki Masashij was a prominent samurai warrior. Regarded as a national hero, he symbolizes loyalty and patriotism in Japanese culture. We're headed to Asakusa for our first lunch in Japan. The atmosphere of the place suggests it might be an isakaya, which is a type of informal Japanese restaurant or pub. Isakayas were originally sake shops that served food to attract customers, but have since evolved into casual dining and drinking establishments. Isakaya menus typically offer a variety of small dishes such as grilled meats. Seafood, salads, tempura, skewers, and noodles. Guests often share dishes and order multiple plates throughout the meal, creating a communal dining experience that is a significant part of the isakaya culture. Okay. <laughs> Kamen Araman Gate is a famous landmark in Asakusa, Tokyo, which is also called the Thunder Gate. 
The gate is painted in a bright red color and marks the entrance to Sensoji Temple, one of the oldest and most renowned Buddhist temples in Tokyo. Nakamai's Dori Street is a lively shopping street that takes you to Sensoji Temple in Asakusa, Tokyo. It's packed with small shops and food stalls that sell a range of Japanese souvenirs, toys, snacks, and sweets. This street has been around since the 17th century and is still a popular destination for both tourists and locals. Omekyuji is a traditional Japanese custom of drawing random fortunes at temples and shrines by shaking a container with numbered sticks. Visitors can pick one to get a corresponding paper fortune, which is believed to bring good luck. Ganda dito guys, as in. The Sensoji Temple in Tokyo's Asakusa district has a central hall called the Sensojai Main Hall. It's a significant cultural and historical site that houses the temple's main object of worship, a statue of the Goddess of Mercy. Over the years, the main hall has been destroyed and rebuilt multiple times, with the most recent rebuilt in the 1950s. The main hall is a must-visit for anyone keen on learning about Japanese culture and history. Shibuya is a lively commercial and entertainment district in Tokyo, Japan. It's famous for its bustling scramble crossing, numerous shopping centers, restaurants, and vibrant nightlife. Popular with both locals and tourists, Shibuya is considered one of the trendiest places in Tokyo. It's also home to several landmarks such as the Hachiko statue and Shibuya 109 shopping mall. <laughs> The Hachiko Memorial Statue is an iconic landmark. The statue pays homage to the touching tale of Hachiko, a faithful dog who would wait for his owner every day at the train station, even after the owner's death. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Make a Hachiko. The statue is also a well-known meeting place for both locals and visitors, and has come to symbolize the values of loyalty and devotion in Japanese culture. In fact, there's a movie about it that you should watch. Why, Hachiko, why? Ito na guys yung challenging part. Ah, sa Shibuya Crossing mag photo shoot. You know, ang dami tao. Paano kaya to? Shibuya Scramble Crossing is a well-known pedestrian crossing situated in front of Shibuya Station. The crossing is famous for its swarms of people who cross in all directions when the traffic lights turn red simultaneously. Sige lang, 20 seconds lang. Pero takabalik if you want. Sige, sige. Ang hirap guys, grabe. Red agad. Hindi mo tlay. On our third try, Shibuya Crossing. 
It's a symbol of the city's vibrancy and is a popular destination for tourists, particularly during rush hour when the crowds are at their busiest. The crossing is surrounded by towering buildings and shopping centers, and it's widely regarded as one of the world's busiest intersections. Guys, we're going to go to Hello, wala na. Oh, wala na si Anya. Wak, wak. Wala na si Anya, guys. Diyan siya dapat to. Oh. Wala na Pokemon siya. Puro Pokemon na. Puro Voy Coco. Sige, may flag sila. Hi, Q. Mot mot tolok. Bow blur. Oh god. <laughs> 